Here he comes. Coming right to it. Got it. Oh, got him. That didn't take long at all. First drop. I haven't been down there for five minutes. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's adventure brings us to uh, Lake Champlain in Vermont. It is my birthday weekend and my girlfriend asked me what I wanted to do for my birthday and I said I want to go fish Lake Champlain. So we are here for four days of fishing. Hopefully the weather cooperates and hopefully we stick some giant lake trout because that's what I'm here. Hope you enjoy the video. Stick around. Hit that subscribe button. You won't be sorry. Thanks. <laughs> fish down here. I'm gonna drop this. This is gonna start with the this is the 1.4 ounce my signature series nervous minnow. Up this down see what happens. There's a fish down there. But he sees my jig coming in. I'll go out him. First drop, I haven't been down there for five minutes. And this fish came in and whacked the nervous minnow. Doesn't feel like a giant. That's okay. <laughs> the average size of the fish in Lake, Win in, uh, Lake Champlain are much bigger than they are in Lake Winnipesaukee, which is why I'm here because if I hooked this fish in Lake Winnipesaukee, I would be very excited. This would be a, this is probably only a five or six pound fish, but this would be a very nice fish in Winnipesaukee. Oh, oh, he just burped. And these lake trout come up from deep. Oh, this is a bigger fish than I thought. They, their swim bladder fills with air, like most fish do. But salmonids, lake trout especially, can burp that air out of their swim bladder. And we should see some bubbles coming up here. It's calm enough. This is a pretty good fish. <clears throat> yeah, this is a better fish than I thought. Yep. Much better fish than I thought. <laughs> Yeehaw, baby. That literally took me like five minutes. So this this setup that I'm using, this is a Daiwa Proteus SS. It's a, this is a medium light. I think I would, I don't know. I, I definitely want to get a medium heavy for heavier jigs, but the snap in this rod, even with a 2.8 ounce jig, is pretty surprising and it's super light. And I have a Lexa HD 300 on here. I went with the 
HD because I fish a lot of salt water. And this has, the HD has <clears throat> stainless steel gears. So a little bit of protection in the salt water. Jigging sea bass or stripers, whatever. This fish is due to burp any second. Yeah, there he goes. And he is not happy. This is a nice fish. Right under the boat here somewhere. I haven't seen it yet. color. It's a nice fish. Another reason to bring them up slow is the water down 95, 92 feet. It's probably 50, 55 degrees down there. And it is 73 on the surface. So give them a chance to acclimate to that difference in temperature. I am not looking to eat any of these lake trout. These fish in this lake are feeding on smelt and alewives. Nice fish, really nice first fish, wow. Really nice first fish, holy moly. <laughs> that is a nice fish, wow. Much bigger than I thought, uh oh. I might be eating some lake trout, even though I don't want to. He's bleeding. Try to get a picture here. Keep him in the water. All right, well, I spent about 20 minutes reviving that fish and would not let it go unless it kicked out of my hands and I literally couldn't hold it any longer so I feel pretty good about that release and I followed my jig yep. so the good thing about well, not fishing 150 feet of water is I don't have as far to go to fix this Fishing on breaks, drop-offs, 90, 95 feet of water, adjacent to really deep water. And these fish will come out of the deep water, they come up on these breaks, feeding. And so I'm looking for constant fish coming in, up out of that deep water. And if so, if I'm not regularly marking fish, I'll move and I don't I won't always move real far because you know the, the contours I mean if I was on just a straight break line it was just a straight line I'd probably move maybe to the other end of it or go to another break but some of these breaks that are out here on this lake are, are very um, not straight and lots of curves uh, lots of inside and outside turns so I'll I can go down the line because these fish will will um, come in and out in in specific areas looking for bait or pushing bait so that is my game plan for today and there's a fish coming in right now oh. yeah, he'll be back you're gonna eat it nervous about that first fish I didn't weigh it or measure it I took a quick photo and 
Like I said, I spent probably 20 minutes reviving it. I don't like to eat lake trout. I know people that'll eat them, so it wouldn't go to waste. But I didn't come up here to, to harvest any fish, to kill any fish. I came up here to make a video. Oh, there's one. Just came right up to my jig. Didn't even see him. Must have came in from the side. That's a big mark. Well, I'm going to try a bigger profile. Fish are coming in. But they're not. Just whacking it. I have a 2.8 ounce. All rigged up. On this, this is a brand new rod. I haven't even used it yet. Daiwa Harrier jigging rod. My only complaint, Daiwa, with your jigging rods, is no hook keepers. Drives me crazy. I don't, I don't, I can't imagine the reasoning behind not having a hook keeper. But put a put a hook keeper on your jigging rods, please, please. I like the action of this rod. I love the price of them. They're like 99 bucks retail. And it, so far, everything about it feels the same as my Travala jig spinning rods. And there's one that just came right to it. There's a 2.8 ounce lure on there and it barely loads this rod. I like it. Oh, my drag's way too tight. So I don't expect to crush the fish right now. I slept in. I've, we have uh, three more days of fishing after today. It's almost 11 o'clock. I started fishing at 10, so I don't have high hopes for real big numbers, and I expect the fish to be a little bit finicky, but I'm gonna keep working them. And hopefully I can get one or two more. There's some thunderstorms coming in this afternoon, so I don't expect to fish for very long. All right, I think that's bait on the bottom. I'm gonna drop down and see if anything's coming in on them. Give this a minute. This one interested. Ah. He'll hit it again. Just missed one. Yep, he's all over it. More than one on it now. All right, let's try this little trick. Oh. Try downsizing. This is really steep, this edge that I'm on here. My jig falls for a good three or four seconds uh, after it disappears on the screen. Oh, it just got bumped. All right, this might be my last stop. Wow. It's a bunch of fish down here, but we got some ominous looking clouds coming. These are gonna move by me, but there's more right behind it. There are lots of thunderstorms forecast for today, this afternoon, so I'm not gonna push my luck. There we go. Oh, that one thumped it, jeez. Another good one. Feels good anyway. handicap with a bait caster. I, I don't have a ton of experience jigging with bait casters. It's relatively new to me. I like it. That's why I'm doing it. But the drag on a bait caster is quiet and I'm used to that click and drag. So it's when they pull and drag out, it's a little tough for me. So 
this guy isn't really, there it goes. When a lake trout's bladder gets full, they stop fighting in deep water. So you want to just leave them down there. Let them acclimate, let them burp some of that air out. Trust me, he wants that air out as bad as you do. see good strong fish you don't want to see almost no weight left on the rod because that means they've stopped fighting and they're actually eventually will float to the surface because their bladder is so full of air soon. There it is. Another real nice one. to the side of it. So I'm gonna have to burp this fish out, which will be okay. the last one but nice fish I'm gonna get a picture and get it back in the water real quick all right well day one was a success got a couple nice fish caught a fish around not too bad seeing as how I didn't start fishing until 10 a.m. Uh, but we got rain coming it's raining now sorry for the water spots on the lens but it's thunderstorms forecast for the whole afternoon, so I'm gonna to try to beat the majority of this rain in, see how dry I can stay. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hit that subscribe button, uh, notification bell, thumbs up if you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Another one coming from tomorrow's trip. See you soon.